Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Special Secretary for Strategic Affairs of the Presidency of Brazil, Admiral Flavio Orocha at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness noted the steady growth of relations between Bahrain and Brazil, which uh, continues to receive the support of both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, and the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. Admiral Roja conveyed President uh, Bolsonaro's greetings to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness. In return, His Royal Highness conveyed His Majesty's greetings to the Brazilian President, in which His Majesty wished the President and the citizens of Brazil continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness commended the Brazilian President's commitment to furthering cooperation with Bahrain to benefit both countries. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain-Brazil relations have been strengthened over the years by agreements, memorandums of understanding and diplomatic visits. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of furthering relations across vital sectors to serve a common interests. The latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, the Admiral expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's commitment to developing bilateral relations between Bahrain and Brazil. The meeting was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Bahrain Defense Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Zia bin Sagr Naimi. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Special Secretary for Strategic Affairs of the President of Brazil, Admiral Flavio Rocha. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the development of cooperation and coordination between the two countries across several areas, which serves their joint interests. They also reviewed several matters of shared interest. The meeting was attended by the Chairman of the Foreign Relations and National Defense Committee of the Brazilian House of Representatives, Eduardo Bolsonaro, and a number of senior Brazilian officials. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Project, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited Salman Town to review the latest developments in the implementation of housing and service projects in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Engineer Wa'il bin Nasr Al Mubarak, and a number of government officials. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, takes pride in the government's achievements led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in completing the implementation of the Royal Directives to provide 40,000 housing units. He said that it reflects the determination of Team Bahrain to overcome challenges and proceed with the implementation of this directive, which ensures the provision of housing for thousands of Bahraini families. Residential towns, essential pillars of Bahrain's pioneering housing experience, the Deputy Prime Minister said that Bahrain's housing towns projects are among the most essential pillars of Bahrain's pioneering housing experience, which reflects the government's keenness to provide adequate housing for citizens. Sheikh Khalid noted that Salman Town represents a realistic model for the government's vision in planning housing towns and providing a good quality of life for citizens. He highlighted the town's rich diversity in terms of designs for building units and apartments and design neighborhoods in a way that suits the nature of the town. Sheikh Khalid also highlighted the keenness to ensure the afforestation of uh, the main and secondary roads and providing green spaces which is in line with the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. He toured the visitor center and facilities and inspected the projects under construction. For his part, the Minister of Housing affirmed that the support uh, the ministry received from His Majesty the King and the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister ensured the construction of five housing towns simultaneously.
Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, an opening ceremony was held for the new showroom of Falcon Trading Company. Al Zayani praised the economic movement witnessed by many local and foreign companies in Bahrain, which affirms that the Bahrain economy is proceeding in the right steps towards recovery. He stressed that Bahrain welcomes all investments that contribute to raising economic growth rates in light of the facilities provided by the government based on the visions and targeted strategies that enhance Bahrain's investment position. Noting that these projects are in line with the recently launched strategy that aims to increase the contribution of the industrial sector to the GDP. The minister toured the exhibition and was briefed on the company's workflow. Bahrain Petroleum Company Bobco has won the Gold Medal Award of the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accident for its excellence in promoting a culture of occupational safety and its success in implementing its global standards. In a statement on this occasion, the CEO of Bobco, Dr. Abdurrahman Duwahri, stressed that winning this award reflects the integrity of the board's approach and proves the awareness of the staff regarding safety practices. Bobco is always keen to enhance the environmental file and support initiatives and efforts first aimed at preserving the environment. Bahrain has participated in the third edition of the 2022 GCC Games held in Kuwait. The Kingdom's participation comes within the framework of keenness to gain experience and achieve honorable results for Bahrain. Bahrain competed in 16 games represented by national teams within the framework of the efforts to advance the sports sector to achieve the best results that reflect the development of the sports sector under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Bahrain's champions were crowned with many gold, silver and bronze medals. These achievements came as a result of the support of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of First Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, through the launch of many initiatives that contributed to the advancement of sports in all Gulf Arab regional and international forms.